Regulators! Mount up! Hey everybody, Lewis here. Our Shack Barbecue and other things. Well, this is kind of uh, our off-season uh, when it comes to the catering and uh, food truck. Because uh, it's winter time. So I'm doing a lot of videoing right now of products that I have purchased uh, and just now getting around to doing something with them. Uh, just like this unit right here. So this is an electric smoker. Uh, I found this on Facebook Marketplace. This actually, the MES uh, 140G, I okay. believe. So right here it has a little price tag uh, and it was sold at Sportsman's. Uh, which is a uh, well they got you know firearms outdoor uh, gear fishing equipment uh, camping equipment that kind of kind of retail store this was sold to them uh, and this was $429.99 uh, let's see is there a date yeah there's no date on it um, and I did not pay anywhere close to $429 or $430 uh, I even paid less than half of that for it. Um, but they bought it and they just had it sitting in their uh, garage. Uh, and then they were cleaning it out and they decided to get rid of it. So uh, I was looking for one of these because I've never owned one of these. Uh, I've had uh, the uh, Little Chiefs and the Big Chiefs, which are an electric, uh, you know, they got a hot plate uh, where you put the. Uh, chips in and uh, it smolders them and creates the smoke. Uh, that's the basic idea of these except it's got a digital controller. Um, anyway, I've never owned one of these and I wanted to do a comparison cook as well as uh, see how well this thing can smoke meat. So uh, went ahead and bought it and I have some other plans for this. Uh, so. We'll have to see uh, where this ends up in the long run. I might talk about that later. Once I get it all assembled and we do a cook in it, then I may tell you what I have planned for this. Uh, but I need to get it unboxed. I need to get it assembled. And from all the pictures I've seen, these are only, you know, this box is this high, uh, but I think this unit is only about that tall. And me being 6'5", it's like, yeah, I don't know if I want to work that way. So. Um, I went ahead and I found this, uh, it's a uh, riser for it uh, on uh, Amazon, it's fairly cheap so I'm going to put that on the bottom of it and we'll see if we can get this up to where it's at a comfortable height for me. But basically what I'm going to do, take this apart, or uh, what I'm going to do is open this box up and assemble it and uh, we'll go from there. I'm not going to really uh, show you all the assembly thing. Uh, I'm just going to throw it together and then I'll talk about it at the end. So let me get it together. I think I broke the code on the master built uh, electric smoker. Uh, originally I said I thought it was a big box store exclusive because of the G. Uh, but now that I think about it, um, it is uh, 140 MES Master Built Electric Smoker Dash G Glass Door. So uh, may not have been just sold through uh, big box stores. Uh, I think you could get it even on Amazon. What I saw on their website is they don't make that model anymore. Uh, they make a gas one that's 140 or the 40 inch, uh, but not an electric one. They've gone to the gravity feed uh, charcoal smokers uh, quite heavily. So anyhow, um, wanted to share that little bit on this video of uh, the unboxing, assembly, and initial uh, thoughts of the uh, smoker. Uh, next video will be our first cook on it and it's going to be a doozy all right here it is uh completely assembled the master built mes 140g 
140, uh, they make a 130 and a 140, and I think it's 40 inches tall versus 30 inches tall, if I remember right. Um, I gotta tell you, this was one of the easiest assemblies of a grill I've ever had. Uh, it went together really easy. The base probably took twice as long as uh, doing the final assembly of like the control panel and the uh, uh, rod back here to move it around. Um, that's really the only things you had to assemble. The rest of the stuff just slipped right in. Um, I'm going to do this so you can see the inside here. I'm telling you, I think these are, I mean, it's double walled and I think there's insulation because it, that's pretty thick right there. I mean, and, and it sounds, it doesn't sound hollow. Uh, the racks, I'm not going to say they're stainless, uh, but uh, they uh, are nice racks. This is a water pan down here. Uh, we'll go over the uh, sides and uh, things. One neat thing about this is I was reading the manual here. Uh, you'll see right here, it's got a light switch. So uh, somewhere there's a light. I think it actually is a controller, but we'll find that out. I don't know. This might be a light over here. So the door uh, activates the light. That's pretty neat. Uh, we got to play around with how to uh, set it. I haven't turned it on yet. I haven't done anything like that. Um, looking at their little brochure here on the front, their little information panel, it says 16 chickens. Uh, that's going to be a little tight. Uh, they say four turkeys. I don't know how you can get four turkeys in there. You might, because you can't adjust the shelves. Uh, you might be able to remove this one and this one and get two uh, full birds in there, turkeys. Then it says uh, eight racks of ribs. Yeah, maybe uh, if you trim them up. And then eight pork butts. You know me, I'm all about the hotel pans. Uh, I like the full size hotel pan. And, uh, it's not going to fit. Right. So you'd have to uh, go with the three quarter uh, uh, if you like to do things with uh, hotel pans. Half pans will fit in there, no, no problem. You might be able to get two rack of ribs. Uh, one thing you'll notice. Right here, it's got a uh, probe, and it's got a little sleeve in there for that to sit in. That's pretty neat. I like that. When you're not using it, it's already, it sits it out there out of the way. Um, I was really worried about, okay, a lot of them, you know, I've seen, it's got a top vent up here, and I'm going to talk about that in a minute, but a lot of them I've seen where you've had to take your probes and run them through the vent. Uh, if I run an extension, you know, an external uh, probe system, then yeah, I'll have to run them through the vent. Otherwise, there's a little grommet, I don't know if you can see it, it's back here, uh, that you have your one that goes to the controller plugged into, uh, and it fits in the back, which is kind of neat that they did that. This is just a gri uh, dri drip, this is just a drip pan here, removable, probably put foil on that. Uh, you've got your water pan right here, uh, and then it has your uh, ash dump right there. Uh, I'll show you how you feed uh, wood chips to it, and uh, we'll figure out how to power this thing on. But look at a couple other features on it. Like I said, it has a top uh, vent to your, and you know you want to leave that open. That's like a quarter, uh, and then you can have it half. It has a little tab right there. Um, I think if you want, you could bend that back up and then you could close it all away. Uh, I think that's just for making sure you don't do that, but um, you know, you could bend that up and I think you could close it off all the way if you wanted to. Like I said, it has a top uh, vent to your, and you know, you wanna leave that open. That's like a quarter uh, and then you can have it half. It has a little tab right there. Um, I think if you want, you could bend that back up and then you could close it all away. Uh, I think that's just for 
making sure you don't do that, but um, you know, you could bend that up and I think you could close it off all the way if you wanted to. So right here is how you feed chips. You don't have to open the door. Uh, this comes out, put fresh chips in there, slide it in, make sure it's all the way in. Then you spin it and it dumps them right into that ash pan and then it locks it in. You can just leave it there. On the back here, this is a grease drip. There's a, a grease drip pan, a little drip hole right here that drips the grease out. You got your power cord. And then up here, that's where your uh, probe goes into the unit. Plugs into the back here, which is kind of neat. So yeah, and then this is your grab handle for moving it around. Um, the back has casters. They're just cheap little wheels. They're not going to be heavy duty. Uh, yeah. Here we got the control panel. We'll look at that in a minute. Come around to this side. Not a whole lot going on. You got the one latch, which is adjustable for the door. Let's open it up so you can get a closer look at the inside. All nice and clean right now. That won't last long if you know me. <laughs> All right, let's plug it in. Like I said, I haven't even turned it on yet, so no guarantees of what's going to happen here. Oops, it looks like it kind of powered on for the first time. So this is the on button here. Let's push that. I uh, can barely see it, but it says door. So uh, let me close the door on it. All right, guys. Um, I don't know if we could get that to show up any brighter or not. Uh, I don't know if... Uh, Let's see if I go. Yeah. That, uh, I don't know. We'll have to look in to see if we can get this to show up brighter because it doesn't show up very well. Uh, anyway, it's powered on. Right there it says time, so you would set your time for your cook. And then this is the uh, temp uh, that I would say that the probe is picking up right now. Um, this would be your set, how you set your time, uh, what you want to cook at. Let's see what, uh, how high it'll go. Looks like, whoops. So I think you can't press and hold. Well, I guess you can. And just hold it there. So it looks like 275. 275 is the highest you could set this to, which, uh, you know, if you're doing chicken or turkey, you may want it to higher than that, but uh, 275, and then I think you push that, and that sets it, um, and then your timer, you know, you can set it for other hours, so if you're doing a long, slow cook, and you can put uh, how many minutes, 10 hours, let's say 10 hours and 10 minutes. Okay. So that should have it set uh, for uh, the temperature and the time. Let's just see, bottom, I don't know what that means. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna turn it down. We're gonna put it at 200. And we'll just set that, and uh, yeah, we will let it do its thing. We'll get uh, some chips in it and see what happens here. I can smell it heating up. Mmm, yeah. But I don't have any chips in it, so it's hard to tell if it's going to smolder or anything like that. But that is how you set it and set the time and the temp on it. So, yeah, looks good. I'm going to get the front decal off of it. I'm going to read to see if I can get this to darken up some. Um, I've seen a lot of videos where people are having to go like this, uh, especially on a sunny day. 
uh, when they're outside using it. But we will uh, fire it up, see what happens. We're, the plan is uh, to do a rack of ribs in it. Um, I'm not going to do those today. It'll probably be tomorrow. Um, but I just wanted to go over the quick assembly of it and how the controls work and just fire it up for the first time, see what we got. So far, I'm impressed. But uh, let's get some uh, chips in it and see what we can uh, produce some smoke. All right, I bought some hickory and I bought some cherry for our first cook. Uh, for this, I am going to just use uh, the hickory to open the cherry tomorrow. So let us get some chips in it and uh, let's see if we can get some smoke rolling. Check this every half hour. It was at 74 degrees uh, inside already. I'm let this go for a minute. I'm going to look at the manual. So it says pre seasoning. Make sure water pan is in place without water. Set temperature to 275 and run smoker for three hours. During the last 45 minutes, add one cup of wood chips in the wood chip holder and unload chips and unload wood chips into the wood chip tray to complete pre-seasoning. This amount is equal to the content of a filled wood chip loader. Shut down and allow cool. Alright, so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and roll this out and uh, we will uh, do this pre-seasoning. Uh, anyhow, like I always say, thank you for watching, my friends. It's not that hard. You could do this too. Until next time, grill on with whatever type of grill you have.